Okay, hit F2 at the Dell screen to so go into setup, but the hard drive isn't going to load up anyway until, unless you do this. So first thing, uh, let me see, go down to uh, Secure Boot. It won't let you do anything unless you get rid of this. Secure Boot, under Secure Boot, click it, Disable. Say yes. Then go back up to General, System Information is fine, Boot Sequence can't do yet go down to the next one advanced boot options enable legacy options go to the next one uh, UEFI never and then go back up the boot sequence and click on legacy and if it pops off don't worry about it it's gonna go on I don't know why it does that sometimes it does, but when I watch I'm gonna go in and in and again and you'll see it's back on so go down to Integrated NIC, you want just enable. You don't want this boot with, it'll boot, try to boot from the network, no. Serial port, you don't need, disable. SATA operation, it's on RAID, it's supposed to be that. RAID for servers. Drives is good, smart reporting is fine, this, all these are good. Video is good, security is important. You gotta go down to um, CompuTrace is uh, what is this? <laughs> Disable chassis intrusion. Disable. Go down. The secure boot's already off. This Intel software uh, guard extensions. Disable. And then and the next one is the same thing. It's fine. Pro performance is all good. You don't have to change anything in that. Post behavior is uh, is all good. Wake on LAN, disable, that's good. Get rid of USB wake support. You can get rid of that. Uh, I, I checked it, or, you know, unchecked it. Um, post behavior is fine. Virtualization, get rid of both of them. Just uncheck them, uncheck that, uncheck the next one. Maintenance uh, is all good, I think. Yeah, system log. Don't worry about that. Advanced oper advanced configuration. That is already disabled. And the last one, disable this. So it's auto OS recovery. Just do off. Now I'm gonna just to show you that other thing goes by. I'm gonna go to apply. Okay. Exit. And watch when it goes back in. Hit F2. I don't want it to stop. And go back into into the um, into the uh, BIOS. Come on. I would pause it, but I don't want to leave this video. F2, and now it's back. Come on. Okay, now when we go down to boot sequence, it, see how it's on legacy for some strange reason, even though it fl was flicking off. So now, if I exit it, it'll boot should boot, boot into Windows. And, uh, and uh, as soon as Windows comes up, I know it's going to work. If you don't do all that stuff, most of that stuff will stop it from booting into Windows. Some of the stuff is actually speeding up the virtualization you don't need and some other things you don't need. The RAID definitely won't start up. And there it is. That's it.